Hello all, Project Wargaming here with another little painting tutorial on how I paint up uh, Bacchus's auxiliary troops. Um, so to start off with, I am going to uh, use these colors, all Vallejo. Uh, um, if I can get it in air, then I do. Um, but here's just a little bit of white. I also use this uh, medium olive, uh, brass, and flat flesh, along with silver. Um, and then a dark brown. So those are the ones I use. Um, the brass and the green are optional colors. The white is as well. Um, I use the white as just a little uh, shield thing. But here you can kind of see um, some troops that I've already got painted up. This is what I'm doing. Um, so these troops often, uh, from what I've read and seen, uh, had different colored helmets. Uh, a lot of times they wore older um, armor and stuff since they're auxiliary troops. Um, and so also shields are, of course, uh, oval. And I'm painting painting all of mine green because I got some other um, packs of uh, Bacchus Roman legionnaires that I'll, I'll paint up later. But this gives you an idea of what they will turn out to be. So uh, I'm just going to paint one strip here. A uh, couple things that I've noticed on these guys is, at least on mine, the castings are a little little flashier, so you got to clean up a little bit more. And then often the spears and even the figures are kind of bent, and so uh, doing that before you actually start is an important thing. But I found that these guys are actually simpler to paint than the Legionnaires. So I start with the silver, and all I do on a silver is just really, it's just on the back. Because I'm painting the helmets, um, the brass. So, so again, just like the Legionnaires, I kind of paint up from the bottom. I go ahead and make sure to hit the spear. The only thing on the front that requires silver is the spear tips. So, I just go in and hit those. All right. Next color I go to is green. Um, I paint a little bit of the tunic on the bottom here. Mo the models have the uh, um, ring mail pretty much holding it all up or uh, covering up most of the tunic. But I just hit these just a bit to, um, yeah, just to get a little bit of green on the back side. And then the shields are pretty simple. Just quickly go in and hit the front of those. You might have to come back with this green after you've painted some of the stuff just to hit this. I find that um, especially the uh, edges of the shield when I'm painting the other parts of the troops. Um, so next I'm going to come in with the brown, the dark brown. And I'm just going to angle them and drag my brush down on the spear on the front side. And then on the back side, it's really just the top of the shield, or not shield, but uh, spear. And then I th there seems to be a um, strap here, probably a shield strap, I would guess. And I just hit that or it might be a sword, sword strap. Um, so yeah. Next color is the brass. Brass I put on the helmets. And then I come around the front and just hit uh, kind of the brim, I guess, of the helmet. And then hit the boss of the shield. And then at this point, if you want to come in with whatever color you're going to, if you're going to put a design on your shield, I just put a simple little... Um, moon shape, I guess, crescent on the bottom of my shield. The Agrac Earthshade really covers up most of that, but 
it gives me something. And then flesh. Flesh, you just come in and pop it on the face. And then there's a hand on the side. So you can see why it's important to make sure you get those figures standing apart at the beginning. And then I just come in and I hit the side of the arm and the elbow. And then on their feet, I find the best way to kind of attack is to come at this angle and just drag my brush around and hit both of that. And then don't forget to do that underneath the shield as well in the front. That's really it. So pretty fast paint up. Um, once it dries, then I just put on Agrac Earthshade, which of course softens it all down. These guys aren't, yeah, these guys are. Um, no, <laughs> sorry, these guys are. Um, so then it, uh, yeah, picks up uh, some of the highlights and darkens down some various areas. So that is how I paint up my auxiliary. I hope that is helpful for you guys, but I find them pretty simple. So we'll talk to you later.